side. Bill Cartwright, Bulls assistant coach when he was with Seattle, used to tell Kemp, just go baseline once in a while as Kemp hits the long range jump shot. He said people will fall over if that happens. To Vitaly Potopenko, but now he says, uh, from B to Z. <laughs> they get this up tempo game. He doesn't get much chance. Nice pass inside. Derek Anderson puts it in. Kemp. Between the legs. Brings it back. It hits. Four points for Sean. For play the passing lane and go down low to Kemp. Sean Kemp in a basket. To the middle, huh? That's <laughs> possible. Knight brings it across the timeline. Sean Kemp Van tries to back in. Jason does a nice job. And a foul call. Plus, he got the basket. Well, I'll tell you what. You got to hammer him on that left side. I mean, you, you're you're giving him a gentle, you're giving him a bump, a bump, a bump, and he's still going that way and doing it. John, it hasn't been defense that's the problem. This team's been a good defensive team all year. Although we're early, if they throw that one away. It's putting points on the board that's been the problem. That's another turnover here. MJ cuts off Anderson, goes on top. Sean Kemp for three. That's his second three of the year. He's two for three now. The lead. Hart comes off the screen, tries to come around, had it blocked by Sean Kemp. Knight pushes it up, finds Anderson, comes inside. Across the floor. Cleveland Indians, it, uh, they've got a little something to, to show here to these fans. Sean Kemp from 17. 71-48, Cavs, look at the turnover. 17 Bulls turnover. Gilgauskas, 12, missed it, followed it, missed that. Sean Kemp with a follow slam. 17 for Sean Kemp now, for now, 73-52. Kemp, top of the circle, jumper, hits again. He's really heated up. He's got 19 now. Sir, a long three. And Kemp with the offensive rebound. So they'll reset the shot clock. And now the Cavs run a timeout. 2.19 left in the third. Cleveland leads the Bulls 75-54. I want to feel like it's now to watch the bench come in and do the job of danger tonight. That's really going to get a big lift. Well, I mean, we got good players on the bench. I think what happens is, though, is uh, a lot of times when the games get close, a lot of guys lose their confidence and uh, they hasn't played a whole lot of minutes out there before. I think the guys that got out there and had a chance to get their bodies loose and, and get their confidence going, uh, they, they finished the game strong. I think, uh, you know, V, uh, Vitaly came in, played a good, strong game. Uh, Zajonis played a good, strong game. You know, Bobby came off the bench and played a good, solid game off a bad ankle still. And uh, we have the kind of commitments we need. If you can involve anyone from your bench along with your starting five, then I think you're better off. How important is this to play the two big guys in the middle for you to take the pressure off you to go inside? Is that for you up in the game or is that Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm going to... I gotta, I gotta be more active. Regardless, I have to be more active to uh, to draw double teams, to uh, to put some points on the board, to uh, to be a main focus out there. So, uh, you know, it's not an easy job, but I gotta I gotta keep focused and uh, I realize I have to be the aggressor out there in the basketball court. Sean, come over these. Guys. How is he gonna play these guys uh, a lot more than he did in right. Seattle? How, how big was the twenty-two? Uh, it was it's a good good win. Like I said, it's a good confidence builder, but uh, we still got a big mountain to climb on Saturday. You know, we. Uh, we, we've got to we got to catch ourselves on balance, and uh, we got to <laughs> we got to keep our focus. And it feels good though to beat them. But uh, like I said, we got a tough game against New Jersey coming up, and we also got a tough game again against the Bulls. So uh, it only gets tougher from here.